When a horse is particularly rambunctious and playful, we say he's feeling his oats. Today, Tusky is feeling his whatever he eats. What in the seven seas is Tusky up to, Aquaman? Must be something up ahead he wants us to see, Aqualad. Yeah, he just did a cool trick. He wants you to come watch him do it again. Hiding on a rusty barnacle-encrusted wreck, a sinister metal-clad figure, attracted by Tusky's excited barking, peers out at the approaching Sea King and its friends. Torpedo Man appeared in the comics right around this time. There, he was a robot who led a team known as the Awesome Threesome. The other two robots were named Magneto and the Claw. Will we see all three of them in this series? I don't know yet. I've only watched half of it. Ah, Aquaman, you bested me before, but now it is my turn. Now the torpedo shall have revenge. Jumping jackfish, Tusky. Did you bring us out here just to see that old wreck? No, he brought you out here to see the talking tin can inside it, which you might see if you look closer. I just saw something move in there. You're right, Aquaman. I... Suffer and sunfish. It's the Torpedo Man. So that's where he's been hiding out. And considering his name, it's not hard to figure out what he does. Thing is, if he behaves like a real torpedo, I have a feeling he can only do it once. We'll have to think about that later. Right now, he's on a collision course with our heroes. Split tadpole fast. <laughs> No, you don't, Torpedo! I'm starting to get a little frustrated with our direction the last couple of episodes. We saw Aqualad zip out of frame on Imp, and the next moment his foot is caught on some coral. When did he dismount from Imp? What's that thing on Torpedo Man's forehead? Where did it come from, and why does it keep disappearing? We've had way too many harsh cuts like that recently. Such as this. <laughs> Wayland Wolffish Harpoons! When did he get up off the deck and how long has he been swimming like that? It wasn't like this early on, so it makes me wonder what happened. I just hope it doesn't continue because it's irritating. We spend the next several minutes sparring with him and getting nowhere. It's exciting and interesting enough, there's just not a whole lot to comment on. Stay alert, Aqualad. He's up to something, I'll bet. No, they're just, just where I want, I want them. them. Trembling triggerfish and electric grid. Must be how Torpedo recharges his batteries. And how is that supposed to destroy Aquaman if all he's doing is standing next to it? This is the end for you, Aquaman! Aquaman, look out! As brilliant plans go, I put that one right up there with gutting a company of everything that makes it what it is and then begging people for $8 to fix it. Aquaman says he may be our enemy, but I can't let him die. He summons a pair of very special fish. What are they doing, Aquaman? Drawing the electricity from Torpedo Man. No, this time I don't know what they are. But given the show's track record, they're probably pretty close to authentic. Boy, I hope he appreciates that you saved his life, Aquaman. I'm sure he does. He's got to be a changed man after that. <laughs> you never take me in. <laughs> He's getting away. I'm sure he would be a changed man if he were a man, but he's a robot. That's not explicitly stated in this story. I think you're more or less supposed to know it from the comics. Or you're ten years old and you don't care. Weepin' Weakfish! Now we're really snagged! It's steel mesh and they can't break it. Plus, it'll take them way too long to come up with the idea of having the horses lifted off them. Go on, Storm! Imp! Pull, Tusky! Then again, it's possible to have more help than anybody could possibly want. They might be more useful if they all pulled the same direction. 
But that may be beyond Aquaman's telepathic capability. Jellyfish, the ship's rocking. So don't come knocking. Aquaman calls for the critter who's best equipped to get this net off them. All right, fella, take hold. Now, lift. It'll take some doing, but he'll get it off them just in time. Down below, Torpedo Man is still digging away. Diggy, diggy, While he's getting stuck, Aquaman and Aqualad have gotten unstuck and they're out of here. That's the problem with gadgets like the one he had. Electricity and water don't mix. Destroyed by his own treachery. Don't bet on it, Aqualad. With his fantastic powers, I have a hunch he'll be menacing us and the Seven Seas again all too soon. He will indeed be back. In a strange quirk of fate, the explosion blew him right into a nearby body and fender shop. They got him fixed up as good as new, but he had to spend six months pounding out dents to work off the bill. Say he's feeling his oats. Today, oats. I could, oats, oats, not oats. You do it once. Do it once. Not a whole lot to adapt. I think you're more like a man. I screwed that all up.